will reduce the purchasing power of the people. We can further slow down the economy. Let's widen the tax net. Those who are not paying now, if it is inclusive of Boibola Tunubu, let the nets get bigger and we we'll take in more taxes and that is what we must do in the country. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. purchasing power of the people we can further slow down the economy unfortunately the people that were clapping those days um, those times when um, mr tinubu were making all these um, errors and loud statements very loud and i'll tell you why it was loud some of them are hungry right now uh, part of the people there were better edu whose sole interest was to get into the ministry of um, um, social development, women affairs, or whatever, poverty elevation, um, disaster management, to get in there to take money that belongs to Nigeria. That's why she was clapping. She would have been part. The current minister of power was also clapping because he wanted to get to power and do nothing. Right? A couple of them clapped because they wanted to get to power. Fessus Kiyamo, Femi Fanika, who currently is hungry at the moment, right? No, no appointment. Most of them clapped. Zakoju is currently sick, was also clapping. A couple of them, the Gentle Jack and all of them, the um, uh, Messi Agbe is um, was, was, was Messi. Yes, a couple of all these other uh, people, the Eniola Badmos and all of them kept clapping because they wanted food or crumbs from the table of Mr. Tinubu. The rest of the people that did not know why others were clapping and joined them to clap, they are currently hungry. They are stranded. They can't even stand. Right? And then, I don't even blame Tinubu, so to speak. I blame the people that were clapping. You could understand what was this man saying. Like I said earlier, he was making loud statements. But the loud statement was that he didn't know, didn't have a clue, didn't have an idea of what he was going to do in governance. The people that come to us and tell us the country will get better. One thing I like about their, their confirmation is that they are aware that there is nothing that the present government is doing that is going to make the country get better. It's just faith and belief. Uh, everybody in the APC only is a motivational speaker. It will get better. The US was not like this. The UK was not like this. The Indian was not like this. Indonesia was not like this. That's what I keep saying. What are the baby steps? I mean, the infant strategies that this government is putting in place for a better tomorrow. Let's even believe in the next 1,000 years. Where, as I talk to you, if you, if you have clear-cut understanding of where this country is i'm not saying i'm not saying on paper if you sit and analyze this country you know that we are running effortlessly conveniently with speed in the wrong direction i say with speed it will take so much to stop the vehicle of this country from going the wrong direction stop it then put it on the reverse gear to face the right direction so we are 1000 miles a million a billion miles away from even the right track, you know? <sighs> How much is dollar? How much is pounds? How much? Just check what's, 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 what's the equivalent. Let's even suffer in Africa, around in South Africa. Go check. How much? The problem is not even this um, great exchange rate. The problem is what is this government? What clues does, does this government have? Where exactly are they fixing? What? What are the machinery? What are the indices? 
if you understand macro and macroeconomics, you understand that to grow an economy like Nigeria that is currently seeking, you want to keep it up, you even make it rise, like right? There are certain things that need to be put in place. For example, power generation. What is this government doing about power? What are we doing about security? The, the whole of the West has been submerged. I, I'm not so comfortable because I've got brothers and sisters, people that believe in a new Nigeria, innocent Nigerians, right? Vulnerable ones too, who probably may not have supported this present or sick government into power. But then they had vulnerable disadvantage right now. Today, you just heard about a bus in a kitty where children were going to school, a full bus. It has gotten that bad. We've been told that the rate of ritualism in Ogu State, for example, is, is breaking all time records. Hunger is in the land. Criminality has increased. Again, wickedness has been, has been doubled. In the West, that's in the West. Let's, what is happening in the North has become a matter of, um, of daily reoccurrence. They are not doing community massacre, ethnic cleansing, religious cleansing. That's what's happening. And it's going to go around on. And a country that is expecting foreign direct investment, trying to attract foreign investors to come into this country, we can't even create a simple strategy. Forget the bubaga that happened in Abuja. It is still as bad as it used to be. The only thing now is that media is now silent about it. And there is a current propaganda by the police who say they are arresting people. We've, we've been around for a while. So I don't know why Nigerians will even get, get, get deceived. Tunubu told us he was coming to do nothing. He actually did. But a lot of you expected so much from him. And it's going to be like that. Unfortunately, in this country, if you are not Jonathan, you are not Jonathan, right? So Tunubu may have his way and, 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 get, and get another four years and eight years. Imagine this crop, this paid of killings, insecurity, exchange rates, bastardization of the economy, corruption, criminality, illegality, continue for another eight years, it may never be a country at the end of the day. It came to finish. It came to finish. And there are people still defending this nonsense. No matter how much, no matter how much, no, forget the trip, forget travel, forget Jackpot, forget relocation. It, it's only a blind man that will sit anywhere in this world and be comfortable to happen in Nigeria. And only you have to be blind, deaf, and dumb to sit anywhere, no matter the convenience and comfort, no matter the luxury at your available, no matter how much you even have, you will know that the country is sitting. Forget the stories they are telling you. Forget, don't listen. You sit yourself down and ask yourself where exactly is working in this country? Where? Which area? Which sector? Which industry? We state. You can't travel. You can't move around. For a, if if innocent Nigerians are now are now criminals see Nigerians and see money. Imagine when foreigners come in and they want to invest in the country. How how safe is Tony Lumelu moving around? How safe is Femi Ote Dollar? How safe are the millionaires even let alone the billion? School children. Some of these parents can, have not even paid school fees. They cannot even afford it. But they have to go and start looking for ransom. Tenubu warned us. He told us I was coming to destroy. But some of you thought he was joking. I know the majority of Nigerians did not vote him. But a lot of you did. A lot of you supported him. A lot of you were sentiment. A lot of you were not so bold enough to, to call a spade a spade. A lot of you felt, oh, no worry. And we can, we, some of you have moved on. I said, even if I voted Peter Abi, but we have moved on. Moved on to where exactly? <sighs> Sometimes I say, just, just ignore this country and, and do, but it's not possible. I see I have family members, friends, I have people who believe that we would have been able to make a better mark. But then, it is what it is. Anywhere, anywhere you see. If there's anybody in this country, you see, you can forgive Tinubu, but you see, if you forgive Yakubu Mahmoud, a bastard, forgive Tinubu, he wanted it, but a man supported it. And forgive those people at, at, at the judiciary, the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeal, if you forgive, no, can never. Because those ones saw black, they, they saw why they said it was black. They saw black and white, they said it was green and red. Deliberately. But guess what? Salaries have been increased. They've got new SUVs in millions of naira. They've got more protection. They have requested for more security. They are living in choice estates. They have increased 
their their diplomatic opportunities most of them are traveling around the world right now they don't care it is innocent vulnerable nigerians that have been left to rot there was a country i'm out of here